A compromise of sorts at the Board of Fisheries left many Bristol Bay residents in good spirits. Joe Kinnean has the details. Protecting king salmon while also allowing subsistence fishing to continue. That was the Nushagak Advisory Committee's goal through Proposal 11. An amended form of this proposal was successfully voted in by the Board of Fisheries 5 to 0, allowing Dillingham residents to continue fishing all days of the week while placing bag limits on Chinook salmon catches. Well, I think the people are going to be really, really happy back at home to make sure that we were able to maintain our seven day a week fishery. There were other proposals for the board's consideration that would have instead limited fishing time to three days out of the week, which the board voted against unanimously. Motion fails, zero five, Madam Chair. There were some proposals that were maybe less collaborative um, that would have had I believe, unintended consequences on other user groups. Several people from Dillingham attending the meeting applauded the board for working with the advisory committee on what regulations will be established moving forward. The Alaska Department of Fishing Game at this meeting really made sure that subsistence, you know, is our priority. Several members of the board, as well as directors of Fish and Game, also voiced their thanks for the advisory committee, as well as members of the public, for providing their input in the process of establishing the management plan. However, board chair Mark Carlson Van Dort stressed the importance of accurately reporting their catches to better inform decisions made on this plan and similar plans in the future. And it behooves each and every user of these fish to make sure that they are enumerated well and accurately. The Board of Fisheries plans to conclude their meeting on Monday with deliberations on sport fishing and invasive species scheduled. Joe Kinnean, Alaska's News Source.